I've been saying repeatedly on your show and to my students is that I believe that hacking radio signals is really the, the next level in terms of, and, and David, you've done a number of, of tutorials using Flipper Zero yeah. and, and it's been widely acclaimed and used around the world, but I really prefer the Hack RF. The Hack RF has been around for a while, and, and the difference really between the Flipper Zero and Hack RF is that the Hack RF is basically a transceiver, right? With very, it has a little bit of software, has some firmware built into it. But your computer, okay, and all of its capabilities and all of the tools that you can download into your Kali or Dragon OS. Remember, we talked a little bit about Dragon OS. Dragon OS has hundreds of radio hacking tools. And in most cases, the Hack RF One, which is about a $350 tool. So let's be clear, it's not free by any means. It's very capable of handling all of those radio hacking tasks. You know, it's not the best, it's not the fastest but it certainly gives the beginner a capability to do a lot of the radio hacking. Its limitations are speed, okay? It's relative slow compared to some of the more advanced tools. And the other limitation is that it's only half duplex. It can only send or receive and can't do them simultaneously. So there are some attacks where you need to have both send and receive at the same time. And some of the more advanced tools can do that. But if you're starting out and you want to get started in becoming you know, a radio hacker, which, my God, it's like it's one of those really unexplored areas that exactly. I'm, yeah. so, I'm so glad the Flipper Zero came out because the Flipper Zero has made everybody aware of all the possibilities of radio hacking we've been ignoring for all these years. Exactly. And so we've begun a series of classes on radio hacking. We just did one last week on cell system hacking. Uh, we have one coming out on satellite hacking in 2024 and an advanced radio hacking in 2024. So I throw that out there because I want to make people aware of, hey, if you're starting out in hacking, don't limit yourself to TCP IP because there's so many other things out there, you know, like even your Wi-Fi, your cell phone, your satellite connections, your remote control. You know, these are all radio signals. And it's just, we're just on the cutting edge of exploring what we can do in terms of hacking those types of signals. 